Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, so I was trying to figure out what to make for dinner tonight. Went to my pantry and I had this box of chicken and dumplings. I've tried other things from this line, the Cajun Spoon, and I've liked everything that I have tried from them. It's really flavorful. So I have had their shrimp and corn bisque. I've also had their gumbo and it was really good. I've not tried this before. So let me flip it over and show you what you need. You need two pounds of chicken thighs, water, and a can of refrigerated biscuits. I'm gonna change it up a little bit. I like using bone-in chicken for stuff like this. So I have two really big leg quarters that I had in my freezer that I thawed out. So I am going to get the chicken ready and boil it up and season it up. And um, instead of using refrigerated biscuits, I am going to use Bisquick to make dumplings. I found a recipe online that sounded pretty good, so I am going to give it a try. And then this is what the dry mix looked like um, that was in the box. So I'm excited to give it a try. So. I am going to get started and then of course I'll bring you back and show you how everything turned out. Okay, so here are the chicken and dumplings and it has a really good flavor. I did my Bisquick dumplings like I told you and here they are. I've gotta work on them. They did not turn out as light as I wanted them to turn out. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having stromboli. This is something that I have made a lot on our channel, and I do have a video on how I make this, so I will make sure to link it in the description box. But it is really easy to make. It is um, refrigerated, thin crust pizza dough, mozzarella, um, we've got some Italian sausage, cheese, some marinara and spicy pepperonis. And we are just dipping it in marinara sauce. And then this is what is left of the stromboli. So it's a really quick and easy meal and Howard actually requested this tonight. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having a quick and easy dinner. I am making pigs in a blanket stuffed with cheddar. So I just have a package of hot dogs that I had in my freezer. You are also going to need some cheddar cheese and then you're also going to need some crescent rolls. So all I'm gonna do is cut my hot dogs in half and cut my cheese. So I'm just gonna cut it lengthwise and then I'm gonna cut it again. So now I'm just gonna take my knife and split my hot dog, not all the way through to the other side, but just big enough for me to slip in that cheese. Okay, I've got my hot dogs all stuffed and ready to go. And of course, if you want, you could leave your hot dogs whole. It's totally up to you. I just like when they are, the whole hot dog is wrapped up in the crescent roll. When you leave them the regular, their regular length, they, of course, they don't fit. Um, but totally a personal preference, whatever you desire. All right, I've got my pigs in a blanket all wrapped up and ready to go. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna pop these on a baking sheet and I will be back. Okay, so here is our dinner. I ended up baking the pigs in a blanket for about 20 minutes. And I made some steak fries in the air fryer and these are the ones from Aldi. You guys, I can never get my french fries to turn out brown evenly all over. What am I doing wrong? I use the french fry setting on the air fryer, which is 400, um, I think it's 15 minutes, flipping it over halfway through. What can I do to get nice golden french fries? Because every time I make french fries, they look like this. So please help me if you know. Um, but this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having shrimp. 
that I made in my air fryer. I cooked it at, I think it was 360 or 370 for 10 minutes, flipping it halfway. So it comes with 12 total shrimp and it comes in little trays like this. And you get two packages of the soy dipping sauce. So this is what it looks like on our plate. And then I just made some bacon fried rice to go with it. So I have bacon in there, green onions and mushrooms that I sauteed. And then I also sauteed some fresh broccoli with a little bit of olive oil and sesame oil as well. This is the fried rice seasoning mix that I used and I really like this stuff. I've been using it for a while and that this um, fried rice seasoning mix is what gave my fried rice that color. So I did not add any soy sauce or anything. The only thing that I added for flavor was this fried rice seasoning mix and it is very good. And then this is the dipping sauce that came with the shrimp. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having beans and rice and I added some smoked ham hocks in there as well. I was gonna make some cornbread, I just didn't feel like it, but I did make a dessert. I'm still working on using stuff out of the pantry and this is one of the things I had in my pantry. HEB is a grocery store here in Texas and I've, I've made this before and it's actually pretty good. And so here it is on the cake platter. I cut a slice out as you can see, and it's very good. Very moist, tender crumb. So if you live in Texas and you've got an HEB near you, definitely give this pound cake a try. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.